Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an excellent day today. Check this thing out. Japanese Super Strat. Does it get any better? Let's find out what this guitar is all about. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. As mentioned, I've got a Japanese-made Super Strat in the studio. Now, you guys know I have a soft spot for Japanese-made guitars just because of the quality and the attention to detail that these guitars have. And when it comes to Super Strats, I've always said they gotta be a little outrageous in terms of how they look and how they play and how you can play them. Uh, this one definitely fits the bill. I mean, check out the 12th fret there. This is the Chaos Star inlay. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, so what exactly is this guitar? Well, this one's made by Vola. Right, so here's the quick specs, just so we know what we're dealing with before we plug it in. Uh, full detailed specs will be down in the video description below. You can check it out there. Here's some of the highlights. So this, as I mentioned, is a Vola. This is the Keen Machine in a very eye-catching green. Even the truss rod cover is a nice custom uh, shape. Just gives it a, a really custom look. Uh, Floyd locking nut. Obviously, that's going to pair with this guy right here. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, in terms of the fretwork and the build quality, it's sublime. Fretwork down low is excellent all the way to the top. And that's what I mean when I talk about Japanese craftsmanship. No detail overlooked. So beautiful fretwork. Um, and that shows up when you're playing on it and, of course, how it feels. Now, in terms of the other specs, we've got a maple neck. As you guys can see there, nice big volute. Super duper strong. Uh, ebony fingerboard. Just so you guys can take a look at that. And of course, we talked about that Chaos Star 12th fret. Very cool touch. Alder body. So we've got alder and we've got maple and we've got ebony. That's kind of the specs on the neck. We've got a very nice contoured heel joint. You can see how slim that is there. Very comfortable for a bolt on neck. And I'll just kind of show you guys some contours in the light just so you can see. Hopefully it's not getting overexposed because that green is very eye-popping. <laughs> Blacked out hardware on the green. Single volume. It is a push-pull because we've got Fishman Fluence pickups, which means double voicings. So you can have one set of voicings, five-way switch. So there's some splitting and single coil. So there's some out-of-phase tones on this as well. Pull it up and you've got a whole nother set of voicings for these pickups. Very beautiful. Made in Japan trim. Of course, you can bend it up. That's the whole point. And down, and it's going to come right back into tune. We'll test that out in a second. And of course, the Vola body shape. There it is. So that's kind of like the quick specs and highlights on this guitar. Right, so let's plug the Keen machine in and see what it sounds like. I'm going to be plugged into the Rev Generator 120. Here we go. Let's find out what this guitar sounds like. All right, as mentioned, let's go through the five-way switch. I'm going to start in the neck and work my way to the bridge. I'm going to stay on the lead tone. These guitars are going to be used with gain uh, quite often. We will do some clean tones, but for now, let's just uh, see what the five-way switch sounds like uh, with some gain. <laughs> That's the beauty of the trim is bending up <laughs> and it always comes back to tune. Yeah, lots more sustain. I just cut it off there. Tons of sustain on this guitar. Uh, position four. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> all the positions with this gain sound pretty good. Of course, the bridge has just a little bit more jam. Uh, so smooth on this guitar, tons of sustain, especially since we've got a floating tram. They've done a great job with these pickups and matching the tram and you know, not killing sustain because you've got that uh, the floating tram. Tons of sustain on this. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do some clean tones here. So as you guys could hear with a little delay and these notes kind of blending together, really nice, clean kind of prog rock tones. Uh, let's play some rhythm tones on this. I'm going to test the bridge with the volume down and the volume up and the same thing with the neck. Here we go. Let's try some rhythm tones. <laughs> So here are my final thoughts on the Vola OZ Keen Machine. Now, this guitar is just straight up so much fun to play. Uh, from the trim system that just keeps you perfectly in tune to, of course, the eye-catching colors and inlays and that kind of stuff. But beyond just the aesthetic of it, which just definitely screams, I'm a super strat, just play me. <laughs> uh, it's the balance. There is no headstock dive on this guitar. It's lightweight. Uh, the fretwork is impeccable. The satin on the back of the neck is so smooth. The, the contoured heel joint. So there's no, like, nothing impeding you from just having the best time playing a guitar. This guitar is excellent in every single way and definitely belongs with the highest level of super strats. Now, Vola has been absolutely killing it lately in kind of like that uh, $1,000 to $1,200 kind of range, uh, all Japanese made guitars excellent price you know you're talking about a thousand to twelve hundred bucks for a japanese made guitar they're killing it in that range uh, they also have this uh, and some of their upper range guitars this one is more expensive just because of the super high-end trim the super high-end pickups and uh, the, all the attention to detail is just sublime and like i said um, this guitar absolutely belongs with the highest end of uh, super strats from you know esp Ibanez and so forth. Uh, absolutely belongs there. Some really unique inlays. And yeah, absolutely just a joy to play. Balanced, light, super fun, holds tune. You just got one volume, put it in the bridge pickup. You can have a couple different voicings. So very versatile. So yeah, in terms of like Japanese made guitars, this one is, yeah, absolutely sublime. And even though it's kind of like in this super bright, eye-catching color. Uh, don't let that lead you astray because as you go deeper on this guitar, everything is absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. As I said, I will link to all the information on this guitar and the gear I use down in the video description below. You can check it out down there if you're so inclined. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.